Hi, Cancers. Hello, hello, my one of my most uh, favored signs. I want to say thank you guys for being here. I'm really, really grateful for your support. Um, I'm really grateful for your comments, your shares, your likes. I did see that you guys were my top um, viewers who actually, you know, commented on the video. You guys were engaged, and I really appreciate that. And I really love hearing from you guys. So please feel free to drop a comment if this resonates for you. Um, cancer, my dear crabs, you guys are wonderful. Um, I do see that June, you will be feeling a bit underappreciated, okay? You guys are literally doing it all. And as I felt that intuitively, you know, I always start with an intuitive message before I read the cards. I got the Four of Swords, okay, for you guys as, you know, the the main theme. Now, you guys are, are, I feel the beginning of June, I feel that you guys are working really hard when it comes to work. I feel that you guys are trying to juggle a million and one projects, including family, including work, including everything else in your life, okay? I feel that you have this desire to prove yourself when it comes to something in your life or someone. There's something that you're trying to prove and you've been working really hard and really diligently at um, impressing and higher up. You're trying to impress your boss. You're trying to impress your partner. You're trying to achieve something. And I feel that the beginning of June, you're going to do a great job at pushing through. But I see that there are external energies that are getting in the way. Okay. Now, You guys, you guys need to share your your sense of uh, duties and responsibilities, you guys. I, I see a lot of you overworking, okay? And I, this is just going to be a fair warning about your health because I do see that you're going to be prone to getting sick if you're not watching your health, okay? So make sure you get enough veggies in, enough of your vitamins, enough rest, which is the Four of Swords. Rest, please meditate, really center and ground yourself because I do see a little bit of uh, the beginning of June is going to be a little hectic, okay, emotionally. Now, you have the Nine of Cups. You have the King of Wands in reverse. You have someone who is a fire sign in your life who's very arrogant. I'm just going to say it. This is your partner. This is your boss. This is, I, and I kept feeling for a lot of my cancers, this is someone that you work with, or this is a higher up in your company. This is, I feel this is work related. There's, <coughs> excuse me, there's someone that you work with that's a Leo Sagittarius um, Aries who's very pompous, who's very arrogant. They're like, well, I've established myself. This person can be a veteran at your job, meaning they, you know, they have tenure, they've been at their job. Um, for several years and they have that sense of arrogance like oh I I've been there done that right and they're maybe rubbing you the wrong way is what I'm seeing because I feel like this is a very flashy this is a very flashy energy like in 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 people's faces like yeah they're using their fire energy in the wrong direction, right? It's reversed. So instead of using it to be a positive leader, they're being very um they're being very annoying with their approach. They're being arrogant. They're being demanding. They're being um, just really boastful. So I feel this is going to rub you the wrong way the beginning of the month because I feel it, it's affecting your workflow and your psyche, okay, where you feel like you're walking on eggshells with this person. If not work, this has to do with your partner. You guys straight up are dating someone who's a jerk. I don't know how else to say it. Um, and if... This doesn't have to be for all cancers, right? If this doesn't resonate, that's okay. But for those, if you are dating a Leo, Sag, Aries, <clears throat> this person is definitely a little bit arrogant. And instead of them going out their way for you, they're like, what are you going to do for me? Right? That's that energy. So let's be careful for that energy this month, you guys. Now, 
energy is working in your favor. How could the three of swords ever be in, in anyone's favor? But I, I tell you, this is such a healing card, okay? It does, it does say, hey, it's going to be painful. It's going to be a, a, a painful experience and matched up with the tower. Okay, the beginning of June, 1st through the 15th, Cancer, you're going to experience something that's going to shake you up. This is going to shake you up. It doesn't have to be, you know, the biggest catastrophe in the world, but this is going to be something. This is going to be a huge cathartic release. I see a huge emotional release that you guys need. There has been a sense of repression for my cancers because you guys have such a hectic life that I see you guys are focused on working and making money and focused on keeping your stability, keeping the home life happy, that you haven't dealt with your emotions. This is saying you're going to deal with it in June, okay? Let it flow. Let it do its thing. Really center and ground yourself after these emotions are out, okay? Energy is working against you this month. It's going to be the Four of Wands, the family card. There's going to be some kind of instability in your family, okay? Someone's leaving. Someone is leaving the home. Whether this is you leaving what you've known, this is um, someone else leaving the house, but it's it's kind of in a hectic way. It's leaving you unstable, like you're not feeling good about this energy, right? There is a bit of um, imbalance here with the way things are being handled within the home. This could be your family or this could be your marriage, okay? This could be your partnership. So someone is starting fresh or someone is starting new and they're like, okay, peace out, <coughs> right? Um, I don't like this card in reverse, you guys. I don't like the four of wands in reverse because it does it does represent instability and I, I just, I don't like the full card with it, okay? So you guys might be dealing with some stuff in June. Maybe, you know, um, Someone is going to be honest with you and this is going to kind of create a rift between you guys, okay? Something within the family, I feel something within your interpersonal relationships, okay? At the end of the month, the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Three of Wands, okay? Now, watch the way you are communicating, okay? Okay? And also be aware of how others are communicating with you, okay? Be patient because things might not seem clear at the end of the month. You may, you may have a vision for yourself, but something doesn't feel clear. And you're looking to really, really expand yourself career-wise, family-wise, partner-wise. Now, it's going to take a lot of time, okay? So <clears throat> don't. Rush it. Be patient, Cancer. Things are unfolding in your favor. But when this energy is in reverse, the Ace of Swords in, is in reverse, is saying that you have these ideas, but they're not clear yet. So just take your time and let them unfold naturally, okay? And then really take that time to expand and look at how you can really take it to the next level to create a sense of foundation. It's there for you. But just wait until you're a little more clear about what it is that you want, all right? Because I do see your reward at the end of all this. But it, things are going to be shaken up a bit the beginning of June, but you'll be all right. Thank you.